Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another vlog. Woo! Life is so exciting. I'm excited to tell you I'm actually kind of sick. So I might not have the most energy, but I figured I might as well start off strong and then peter out later. Change of scenery once again. This is my parents' walk-in closet because I am not going to be wearing any of that ever. Unless you pay me. With lots of money. Because I love acting. <laughs> oh, man. Today, what we are going to do is showcase a few things that you might not know about me. With five fun items. You ready? Let's go. Item number one. Though I don't normally wear hats, yes, I do own one, but it's from England. And that 10 you see right there is in reference to a famous football player. By football, I mean soccer. And by famous player, I don't know because my sister got it for me when I was too young to remember. Number two. Sometimes when I feel very old and I cannot walk, I need a walking stick. Just so you know, this is my walking stick right here. It's a beautiful piece of weed. True story. And it's what I call my Gandalf walking stick. There we go. Obviously I'm not Gandalf, but this is taller than me. I'll probably show a picture to show you. Now, I realize this may not look like the most extraordinary thing in the world, but to me, I love it for who it is. You know, it's it's been very supportive, um, you know, very stable. We spend a lot of time together. It's kind of like what a real girlfriend would be like. So this is just practice. Next up we have my most intimate of places, the restroom. Now what do we find here in the restroom? We find a razor. Check out this razor. It's Chinese. It was a razor that my dad used, that his father gave to him before him, and his father before him after that. You'll notice that the design is very unlike what is marketed today. Circular, cylindrical, handheld, pop off the top. There you have the razor head. At the top, bottom, at the bottom you have the switch. And here I go, shaving, even though the battery is dying on me. You know why? Because I'm too cheap to buy a new one. The other thing that people might not know is that I actually have books named after me. Here we go. Example number one. Jonathan cleaned up his room, and then, ah, he heard a sound. The other book I have is Jonathan and His Mommy. Notice that neither of these ethnically represent me. You know why? Because back then, an Asian kid named Jonathan was impossible to believe in. So my mom bought these two books and decided, you know, some sort of mixture of these would make yellow. Last but definitely not least, we have dun 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 dun. Very, very old and ancient Super Nintendo Entertainment System, complete with its own collection of wires and games. Now, notice that at this time in life, technology could only advance to two player games at max. Notice that instead of inserting a CD, you literally had to press the eject button, pull it out, and actually wedge it in nice and tight. Now, I actually have quite a few games here that I still play a lot. Um, most of these games are so good that with newer systems like the Wii U, they uh, do a lot of remakes, but obviously they have to change it up so that kids these days are entertained. When I'm bored, I actually will whip out this old system so that I can play it sometimes. I have actually never beaten these other three. To note, these are actually really hard games for me personally to beat. Um, Super Mario Kart, at least this old SNES version, was probably the hardest version because um, all the computers got to use special abilities that you yourself could never use. 